Off-site conservation projects remain an essential component of the North Carolina Zoo's mission. One of our most significant programs involves us in elephant conservation in the central African nation of Cameroon. The project partners the zoo with the Cameroon Country Programme of World Wildlife Fund and is led by our chief veterinarian, Dr. Mike Loomis. We're working with very large animals that can outrun us. They're much stronger than we are. It involves placing satellite tracking collars on Earth's largest land animal to collect data that has proved invaluable in the effort to save this endangered species. African elephants need protection from a variety of human threats. And most importantly of all is the loss of land. Over the last several decades, as Africa's human population increases, the land available to elephants has declined with humans' need for more food, more arable land, and for more water resources. When forests are clear-cut or converted to agricultural use, that takes away habitat that elephants need, and this leads to conflict. Elephants raid crops and they damage property, and that in turn results in people killing elephants as nuisance animals and elephants attacking and injuring or killing people. Elephants are hunted in Cameroon for three reasons. For sport, for the illegal ivory trade, and for bushmeat. The bushmeat trade is a serious threat to elephant survival throughout Central Africa and in the forested areas of Cameroon in particular. Poaching for ivory continues to reduce elephant numbers throughout Cameroon. In 1996, the North Carolina Zoological Park signed a memorandum of understanding with uh, the WWF Cameroon Program Office for a program of elephant conservation that includes monitoring elephant movement patterns in and around various protected areas in Cameroon. Funded largely by the North Carolina Zoological Society, the zoo's nonprofit support organization, the goals of the program are to reduce human-elephant conflict and maintain the connectivity of elephant habitat, so avoiding fragmentation that can leave elephants in a number of unconnected islands of land. The third part of the program is to use the elephant movement data collected for land use planning when new protected areas are under consideration by the Cameroon government. The basic technique we use to monitor elephant movements is to place satellite tracking collars on leading members of elephant herds. We can then remotely monitor their movements. The process of placing a collar on an elephant involves a large team of people. Biologists evaluate field data and determine the general location where the elephants might be found. Porters then carry all the necessary equipment to the study site, which can be several days' hike from the nearest road. Trackers have knowledge of the local area and are expert at following elephants, both to locate them for darting and then to follow the elephants until they are anaesthetized. Veterinarians do the actual darting of the elephants, monitor them under anaesthesia, and supervise the collar installation. The transmitter package for the collar must be in the correct position on the animal's neck so that it can transmit a signal to satellites overhead. Okay, this is the electronic package for uh, the elephant collar. It contains uh, a UHF transmitter that actually transmits to NOAA weather satellites and we can get the elephant location data by email every day. After the collar is in position, an antidote is then given and the elephant usually wakes up in just a few minutes. Information generated from the collared elephants lets us know when they leave protected areas and where they might be going. 
when they're outside the national parks, they're in multi-use areas. And these areas are sport hunting concessions, or predominantly sport hunting concessions and logging concessions. Our main partner, WWF, has been able to negotiate sustainable use uh, agreements with four logging concessions outside the national parks that take into consideration elephant corridors, elephant highways, basically. In northern Cameroon, data generated from collared elephants has given us intimate knowledge of elephant movement patterns. Armed with that information, our partners have been able to develop strategies and action plans which have greatly decreased crop damage and more significantly reduced elephant deaths and human injuries and deaths. This data also helps define the boundaries of a new national park that is being established on Mount Cameroon. This is one of the Earth's most biodiverse and yet threatened habitats. Elephants are the most prominent species of animal found on Mount Cameroon, not only from an ecological point of view, but also they act as a cultural icon to several tribes living there. Since 1996, Dr. Loomis has collared dozens of elephants, and the information that we've received from the collars and from the satellites has enabled us at the zoo, with our partners in Cameroon, to save many of these wonderful mammals. Your support is needed if we're to continue this critically important and highly successful conservation program. To learn how you can help, visit our educational website at fieldtripearth.org. Contact the North Carolina Zoological Society at 336-879-7250 or visit nczoo.com.